Today, we're going to be speaking about how to calculate the adjusted ideal body weight for individuals that have amputations. Hello everyone, my name is Kim. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist, a certified diabetes educator. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be speaking about how to calculate the adjusted ideal body weight for individuals that have amputations. So to begin, the ideal body weight was first introduced in the 1970s and it was specifically to determine drug clearance for individuals that were obese. So today, the ideal body weight is used by dietitians in their practice to determine the target weight range based on their gender as well as the height. And the way that we do this is by the Hamley method. So as you see here, the Hamley method takes into consideration the gender. So for males, it calculates the weight range by taking 106 pounds for the first five feet of their height and then adding an additional six pounds for every inch which is over five feet. For females, it calculates the target weight range by giving them 100 pounds for the first five feet and then an additional five pounds for every inch above five feet. So it should be noted, according to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics Nutrition Care Manual, that the adjusted ideal body weight may overestimate or underestimate the resting metabolic weight. But for the purposes of the RD exam, this video, and even your coursework, I'm still going to show you guys how to calculate the adjusted body weight for individuals that do have amputations. So in my clinical practice, the most frequent type of amputations I see are individuals that have an above the knee amputation as well as a below the knee amputation. So it should be noted here and remember this because you're going to need this later on in the video. For below the knee amputation, that accounts for 6% of the body weight. And for above the knee amputations, it accounts for 11% of the body weight. So let's look at at a quick scenario. You have a patient and she is female. We are told that she is 63 inches tall, weighs 155 pounds, and has a left below the knee amputation. Using the Hamley method, we are definitely going to give her 100 pounds because she is at least over five feet. And then for every inch above five feet, we're going to add an additional five pounds. So using the Hamley method, her target weight range is 115 pounds plus or minus 10%. And the reason why there's that plus or minus 10% is because it takes into consideration if she has a large frame or a small frame. So then you want to use this 115 pounds to calculate her adjusted ideal body weight based on the fact that she does have a below the knee amputation. So you want to take this 115 and you want to multiply it by 94. The reason why you want to multiply it by 94 is because we were told that she has a left below the knee amputation and this accounts for 6% of her body weight. So it's 100% minus 6% for that BKA below the knee amputation which equals 94% or 0.94. So when you take 115 and you multiply it by 0.94, you have her adjusted ideal body weight range as 108 pounds plus or minus 10%, depending if she has a large or small frame. So that wasn't so bad, was it? So we are going to do a second example at this time so that I can solidify what I'm attempting to teach you. So the second example, we are told that we have a male client and we are told that he is 71 inches tall, weighs 210 pounds, and has a right above the knee amputation. So using the Hamley method, his target weight range is 172 pounds plus or minus 10%. To calculate the adjusted ideal body weight, we want to take the 172 pounds and we're going to multiply it by 0.89 because when you take 100% and you minus that 11% due to his above the knee amputation, you get 89% or 0.89. Oh, so that was quite simple, wasn't it? So this is how you calculate the adjusted ideal body weight for individuals that have amputations. And note for different parts of the body, it accounts for a different percent of the overall body weight. So if there's an individual that has an amputation of the hand or the arm or the foot, you're going to have to figure out what percent of the body weight that accounts for. And there's different charts and dietetics that we use to find that percent, but you just still follow the same method. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, questions related to calculating the adjusted ideal body weight, please go ahead and leave that in my comment section below. Have a good day. Bye.